So I've decided to keep this theme, which is Arwen, and I'm about halfway through setting it up. So I'll show you some of the things that I'm doing and some of the things that I'm still having problems with. Um, every theme that you install is going to be a little different, so you'll have to kind of figure it out how to make changes. One of the problems with this theme, I like the logo, I like the um, tagline here. This is fine. I don't like the menu that's hidden up here. But this theme actually has some different styles of headers. And it has one style that has the menu up on top. So that's okay because I can change the style. I also don't like, there's this really big sliding um, featured image on the home page. And right now it's just got all the blog posts. And so one of the tr problems I'm having is I don't really want to feature all of my blog posts in really big images here. And also with the blog posts, because it puts the title inside of the picture here, if I don't use a featured image and then it uses this really huge image, if I don't use a featured image, then the title's not going to look good because it just has like a, a black plain um, picture behind the text which wouldn't really be a problem if I used a more standard theme. So this might be a little bit too fancy. I could probably come up with a lot of the same style and the same effects, but without these problems, if I just started from a cleaner, simpler theme. But I'm gonna keep trying and see how close I can come to what I want. If I get stuck with something and I can't make it do what I want, then I might try another theme later. I didn't find the demo content. Usually you can just click on demo content and import a demo content and it'll just upload everything just like this sample website. And that way it would save me a lot of time trying to figure things out because I could just go in and make changes. But I'll show you some of the things I've done. Um, it looks pretty bad because I'm half finished still. So I've changed the menu and put it up here, but this menu is supposed to have a picture behind it but I don't really want a picture behind it. So I'm gonna see if I can ch change the colors so that they're dark and this is plain. The reason I don't want a picture behind it is because there's probably gonna be a fe featured image here or unless I can get rid of this slide bar, there's gonna be a big sliding header here. But I'll try to get rid of it. If I have to, I can go into the um, code and just take out this element because I'd really like, I don't really need this huge call out. I'd really just like to start from my featured posts and then my sidebar. My sidebar looks kind of messy because it's supposed to have this um, author widget. And if I go into widgets, it has an author wi widget. This Arwin means it comes with the theme. So this theme came with latest posts and it came with this author widget. But this author widget, all it's actually doing is pulling information from the picture it's pulling from Gravatar. So you have to go to Gravatar and sign up. And then you have to customize your user. So under my user, it has my email and that's how Gravatar knows which picture to use. And then I can add a short bio and I can change my name. So if I do all of that, I get something kind of like this, where I get a picture and I get, oh, this should say Derek Murphy. I have to change that. So it's still not working. Um, I guess maybe it's taking from here. So if that's all set up, and if you have this author website, if you use a theme that has an author um, widget like this, It'll save a little bit of time, but it's also kind of complex to get it done and to make it work right. So there's another option that I use kind of to cheat. If I want to put an author picture and a bio in my sidebar, I can add some code. I haven't really finished up here. But what I can do is go to widgets. And instead of using this author widget, I can just use blank text. So I added some, and so here you can put a title, 
I don't really want a title because if I put the title is going to show above the picture. So if I put a title, it would have title text up here. That's what I did in this one. So I put Derek Murphy as a title and all this code is kind of, um, I'll show you how to make it in a second. But I did that, so now the title is way up here and it doesn't really look good. I really should have the title down lower or just no title at all. And so how do you get the code if you don't know how to code and I wanna insert an image? If you wanna insert an image in your sidebar, there's an easy hack. You can go to posts and add a new post. And when you're writing a post in WordPress, this is the normal WordPress writing page. You have visual where you can see exactly what you're doing. And you also have text, which shows you the code. So all I've done here, I went to add media and I uploaded a picture of me. And you can change the size. I chose 200 by 300. Full size would be 640, that's too big. But I can choose the size and then I want to actually put it to no alignment. I might want to bold my name. And I also might want to add some links. If I just do the normal, if I just use this normal author website, uh, the author widget that came with the theme, I can't add any links here. And I might want to add something like, in my author bio, I say, he recently decided to stop studying and designing books and start writing his own, find out why. This link can link to my about page where it'll talk more about my story. And your author's story is pretty important for building an author platform. But I can just write this down. If I wanna link something, um, I could say, or read his books. If I wanted to link this, I'd highlight it. I'd go up here in the menu to insert link. And if I had a books page, I could just say books. I think I have a books page. So then this information, if I want to put this in the sidebar, I go to text, I'd highlight all of this code, copy. And then in the widgets, in the blank text, I can paste all of this code and save it. And then that'll show up in the sidebar. It should look pretty good, but it might not. Um, it depends, the spacing might be a little different. So this is the one I just made, but it looks a little funny because the Derek Murphy is off. And so I'd really have to add a lot of spacing, I think. And spacing is tricky with WordPress, but it might work if you do something like, that's just a break. So if I just add a bunch of those, that might work a little bit. We'll see how it does. Yeah, so now it went down further, but it's a little bit too much, so I don't need so many breaks. I'll try it that way. I can probably take out another couple. Oops, need one more. So that should do it. I'd probably also want to make this image bigger. And so what I would do actually is copy this picture that fills the space really well, and I just use it instead of this picture. And it's about the same. This one looks nice too, except it's still not displaying my name correctly. And it's nice to be able to add your own links in here to get them to go where you want. I have recent posts that doesn't look too bad. Um, my Instagram feed worked okay. It came with a built-in Instagram. 
which was this, but I had to go here and get a token, a user ID and an access token so that this plugin would work. So it's coming along. I think it's probably going to look okay. Um, but there's still a lot that I don't like about it and a lot that's not working so well. I do like the text. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about these pictures because it means I'm going to have to put a picture in every blog post and that's just kind of going to throw off the style and it's also going to make it slower to load. This follow, I probably don't like follow on Instagram. I don't need that. It's too, too big of a button. And the search is kind of weird. I probably don't need a search. And so I might, if this all doesn't work out, I could start over with something much simpler, like I have on author identity. Author identity, I'm just using a, a simpler website. And one of the benefits, because it's simpler, it just has text titles. So I don't have to put an image. I can put a featured image if I want, um, but it looks really good just with text also. And if I wanted to match the style of this one, it's mostly just the fonts. I could just change the fonts. And fonts are easy to change, actually. I can just find out what fonts are being used. I have these new options now from this theme. So under customization, I think it'll tell me typography for menus, which so is using Oswald as a font and Volcorn for the post content. And I can use a plugin to just change fonts. That's pretty easy. So if I just use this theme and make a new header and just change the fonts, then it'll look about the same and it won't be distracting. But I'm going to keep trying and seeing. <clears throat> there are things that I like about this theme, this style. So I'm, for now, I'm going to finish setting it up and see if it'll work. And if not, I'll switch to another theme. <clears throat> 